Heel and stick tiles like this are inexpensive and they're incredibly easy to install, especially when compared to traditional ceramic tiles with mortar and grout. But there is one huge problem, this. These things are notorious for falling off the wall and in some cases melting and warping. The internet is filled with videos and articles about how easy they are to install and equally filled with reports of them falling down and just not sticking. I'll show you how to get the best of both worlds by applying these but getting them to stay on forever as well as how to avoid the melting and warping issues, especially when you're around a range or a stove like this. I started researching this topic when I realized I wanted to put a backsplash here on our camper trailer because we've got some of these scuff marks here that I wanted to not have to deal with and not have people see. And the more I looked into it, the more I became discouraged and thought it's not worth doing. Weight is of the essence when you're doing a camper or a trailer. And also sometimes we just wanna do an easier install. Maybe it's at your house in a bathroom or a kitchen, something like that. You don't wanna have to deal with the mess and the complications of ceramic tile. But I was just about ready to give up on this because of all the issues with actually having it stick when I realized I had a friend who's been through this exact situation and landed on an excellent solution. Our talented friend Amber, who just started a new channel of her own called Up on a Ladder, she was actually doing something very similar. She was trying to put backsplash tiles up in her trailer. She cleaned everything really good first, put them up, and then within a matter of hours, they started peeling off and falling down. It's really discouraging when you spend a lot of time doing that and then they all start peeling off. So she said, I'm gonna get ahead of this, and she went out and purchased some glue, and she started out with some pretty heavy duty stuff. This is Loctite's um, PL400, and this stuff is pretty grippy. She put that on the tiles and still they fell off. And I think a lot of people may have been pretty discouraged at this point, I know I would have been. So then she upgraded to the power grab all purpose here. Still no luck. This stuff is supposed to be super sticky, super tacky and really do the job, but it still started having some peeling issues. So again, I don't know if I would have been as persistent as her, but then she went out and grabbed some of this stuff. This is Gorilla Glue Heavy Duty All Purpose uh, Construction Adhesive. And she used that and she said, that was the magic bullet. That thing totally did it. So now all of the tiles are stuck on there permanently. They're not going anywhere unless she tries to rip them off. And so that is the stuff. This is the kind of the secret ingredient for making things stick, especially if you have an area that just has a weird texture or for whatever reason isn't sticking. Now there are a lot of different solutions you can do for this. If you're using flooring, that actually has a whole different sort of flooring adhesive that you can apply that you can see here. And then you can also, if you're doing some regular tiles on, like if you're doing this over existing ceramic tiles, for example, then you might not have as much of an adhesion issue. It might be worth putting one up, leave it for a couple of days, see if it sticks and stays, and then move on from there. Now for the second issue I mentioned, that's the result of having your peel and stick tiles, especially a backsplash near a heat source like this, open flames on a range or heating elements from a stovetop. So there's some things you need to be aware of. For example, on these tiles that I've purchased, it specifically states right on here that if you're gonna be near a stove or an open range, you need to be about 14 inches away from the actual flames or the heat source. So in a lot of cases, that's just not gonna work because you just don't have that much room between the backsplash and the stove. And so there are actually peel and stick tile products out here like this one from uh, Smart Tile. And this one actually is meant to be a lot closer. This is actually a range area peel and stick tile. Now, if you check out the instructions on this one, it mentions it can be as close as about eight inches from the range, which gives you a whole lot more working room since most of them are about that close. So for this build, we're gonna do a combination of the higher temperature resistant tiles and the traditional subway tiles to make this brand new again. As I mentioned, the first thing we wanna do is thoroughly clean the area and make sure to get in all those little nooks and crannies in the corners, around the chair rail here, in the linings and edges everywhere to make sure it's totally clean and this is ready to stick well. Another mistake I see people making a lot is with outlets. If you have an outlet, not only pop the face cover off like this, but also unscrew it and then pull it away. What we wanna do is set the outlet actually up against the new tile that's installed. That way you won't have issues with the faceplate fitting anymore. The process actually goes pretty quickly from here. I've got my razor blade here that I'm gonna use. This is my Milwaukee Fastback that I use for everything because they're pretty awesome. But I need to use that in combination with a straight edge like this. And then I've got a scrap piece of wood for cutting. Cutting board will do just fine. You can also use scissors to cut these, but I like a straight edge because it gives you a perfect line. I've got the Gorilla Glue that we mentioned before, a tape measure, and I'm also gonna be use, using some of this. This is uh, edging material. It's also peel and stick, and it's actually made by the same company that makes the peel and stick tiles we'll be using. Nothing in this video is sponsored, by the way. These are just some items I picked up on Amazon that had great reviews, and we're gonna give them a try here today. 
This allows me to take care of these kind of unfinished areas. So I'm going to be tiling all the way up to here, and I don't want this kind of unnatural line going here, so I'm going to be putting some of this edging. I don't know that I'll need much more of it besides that in this case, but if I do want to separate my uh, heat resistant tiles, for example, from the subway tiles, I can also use this. And then I can also put it on the other edge where it runs off towards the edge of the counter. So this is probably a good thing to pick up, just cost a few bucks and might make a nice clean finished edge for you. So here's our finished product. I think it came out pretty nice. The Gorilla Glue is definitely going to help make sure that these stay in place for years to come and don't cause us the issues that so many people deal with with these peel and stick tiles. Now honestly I'm not the biggest fan of this combination of colors that we've got on here but I gave it a try and if nothing else I know that this isn't going to have any issues with the heat and that this is far enough away from the heat that we're not going to have issues there either. So pick the colors that work best for you or that you like best but make sure you're getting the right tile for the right application and that you're using the right adhesive to make sure it sticks. Now I want to give a huge shout out to our friend Amber over at Up on a Ladder. If it wasn't for her we wouldn't have known what adhesive to use for this and if you could do me a favor Go over to her channel, I'll put a link to it right here, and check out some of her videos. She's just getting started, she's a new DIYer on YouTube, and she's one of the more talented people that we know. My wife and I have known their family for a long time, and she does amazing work in their house, and on their Instagram account and everything. So take a look at that, and see if you can help her out by giving her a subscribe, and hopefully that will help grow her channel and grow our DIY community. I'm Nils with Learn to DIY, thanks for watching. <laughs>